Good afternoon, everybody. I want to first of all welcome you. I want to welcome you to Brockton City Hall. Uh, it's always a special day when we come together. I do apologize, we're not outside, uh, but again, we're doing a massive construction project. To, so to be safe, uh, we're gonna be doing all flag raisings uh, inside until next year. At this time, I'm gonna ask Pastor Nice to open up the meeting uh, in prayer. Let us pray. The word of God says in the book of Jeremiah 29 that for us to seek the well-being of the city and to pray for the prosperity of the city because if the, the city prosper and all will benefit from the prosperity of the city. Father, we pray that your presence will be among us as we are celebrating our Angolan Flag Day. Father, we pray that you will be among us for every step of this program from the beginning to the end. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I, I do want to recognize Senator Mike Brady. The Senator always joins us at these flag raisings. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> City Councilor Jack Lally, thank you, Councilor, for being here as well. At this time, uh, we have a wonderful representation. We have the Consul General is here today, so we welcome her back. <laughs> and of course, we have the, uh, the Angolan Association, and I want to first of all thank them personally because as I became mayor uh, during the height of COVID, they have honored me uh, with different plaques that probably are displayed in my office. I always want to thank the Angolan Association, the wonderful Angolan residents and business owners here in the city of Champions, the city of Brockton. Consul General, please. Muito boa tarde. Caro Mayor Robert Sullivan, caros compatriotas angolanos. Meritíssimo uh, senador, é com grande alegria e honra que, vos, que nós reunimos, estamos aqui reunidos hoje, neste momento especial, para içar orgulhosamente a bandeira de Angola em Brockton. Esta bandeira representa nossa história nossa cultura e nossa unidade como povo angolano. Ela nos lembra das nossas raízes, de onde viemos e nos inspira a seguir em frente com determinação e esperança. Ao içarmos esta bandeira, renovamos nosso compromisso com nossa pátria e com nossa comunidade aqui em Brockton. Somos uma família unidos pelo amor à nossa terra e pelo desejo de construir um futuro melhor para todos nós. Que este ato simbólico fortaleça nossos laços e nos encha de orgulho por sermos angolanos onde quer que estejamos que possamos continuar a trabalhar juntos e apoiar, um, apoiar-nos uns aos outros e a celebrar nossa cultura e nossa herança. Muito obrigado pela vossa presença e pelo nosso compromisso como comunidade. Que a bandeira de Angola continue a, a guiar-nos e a unir-nos hoje e sempre. Um grande agradecimento ao, 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 ao nosso meia de Brockton. E, e neste momento nós gostaríamos de entregar uma simbólica, fazer uma simbólica homenagem ao, ao meia que tanto nos apoia neste momento. Uh, 
Excelentíssimo Mayor, o Dear Mayor, we have here the, a book from our poet Agustin Neto. Thank you. Yeah, it, it is in English and was our first president of Angola. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank 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 you. In appreciation of our continued support of Angolan community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, Brockton is a special community. It always has been. It's always been a community of immigrants people that come from all around the world to Brockton, Massachusetts to better the lives of themselves, but more importantly, their children and loved ones. And the Angolan community in Brockton has been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, when I became mayor, they embraced me. We met at Luanda when I was first running. Uh, and I'm just so honored and touched that the Consul General travels here each and every year for the flag raising. Um, before I give the official uh, citation, I would ask Senator Mike Brady, followed by City Councilor Jack Lally, to say a few words. Senator Brady, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And <clears throat> I'm just grateful to be a, a part of the celebration today for Angola Flag Day and grateful to the Angolan people in our community. You've given us great initiatives in our community. And, have been a part of our family in the city of Brockton, so I'm just grateful and honored to be your state senator. God bless you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Councilor Lally, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I don't think I could say it more eloquently than Senator Brady. Uh, I have to. I have to say, as a city councilor, I think. Uh, the Angolan Association deserves special mention for being, and forgive me, Mr. Mayor, but uh, one of the few, if not the only, community that is able to outcitation the mayor. <laughs> um, uh, I have the honor of being the Ward 6 City Councilor. Um, by my count, uh, the majority of the Angolan Association is in Ward 6, um, and they are a huge asset to the, to the community, and we really appreciate it. Um, you know, the, the city's, on the city seal is education, progress, and industry. And we have witnessed from the Angolan community uh, a, a sincere and deliberate drive for all three of those things, and that's really what helps us uh, move forward, and we're very appreciative of, uh, of your contributions to the community. Um, and to the Consul General, obrigado. Thank you for coming back. I learned one. I learned one. That's the only one I got to know. No, but, um, but we, do, we do appreciate it. Um, and here's to next year. But thank you. Thank you. So again, the Consul General's office is in New York City, so it's, it's uh, really an honor uh, that she travels here on a regular basis. And uh, as, as the mayor of Brockton, representing wonderful Angolan residents and business owners, I'll be traveling to New York in the near future to meet with her in her office as well. I know we had talked about that in the past. Before we, we raise the flag, and I'm going to ask Pastor Nice and the association, of course, Madam Consul General, to actually do the, the honor. I, I'd like to give a, an official mayoral proclamation at this time, if I could read the following. Um, Whereas Angola was liberated from Portuguese rule in 1975 in an act that demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized the Angolan culture throughout the ages. Whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts, our city of champions, is due in part to an ethnic diversity which includes the Angolan population of re residents and business owners. Whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Angolan customs, food, and culture which were brought here by Angolan immigrants, which really made an indelible mark on our city. 
whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Angolan ancestry and to extend to them best wishes for continued prosperity and success. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaim today, the 19th day of April in the year 2024, in our fine city as Angolan Flag Day. And I humbly and respectfully urge all residents in our city to join me in observing this special day. And I proudly sign and seal it again today, the 19th day of April in the year 2024. I'd like to give this to Council General, please. Thank you, Council General. So at this time, again, I'm going to ask the pastor, the Council General, uh, and the association members, we will proudly hoist the flag of Angola here in the confines of City Hall. I do want to again thank all of you for being here today. I want to thank Brockton Community Access uh, for filming this wonderful event that will be aired on our local community access. Again, let's give a round of applause for the Consul General who travels here every year. We want to, we want to thank Pastor Nice. Just to let you know, uh, I do a prayer session every other Friday with a bunch of pastors. Pastor never misses. He's always there praying. and and praying for the city and praying for the wonderful Angolan community. And he prays for my family as well, so thank you, Pastor. At this time, it will conclude the official flag raising. I, I welcome you to stay around and enjoy this beautiful city hall. Next year, when you come back, we will be doing it outside again. But this building is uh, renovating a $10 million American rescue, the opera money, federal money. So next year when you come in here, it's gonna look different. In that room right there with the beautiful artwork, the drop ceiling will be replaced. And underneath the drop ceiling is the original painted fresco. So when we come back here next year, we'll be outside proudly, but we can come back in and enjoy this wonderful event. So God bless each and every one of you. We are better together, and God bless our city of Brockton. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.